Aquarius, what's going on with you? We just left your season, right? How was your birthday? Mercury is still like in the shadow direct phase of being retrograding your sign. You know, Saturn is there, your planetary ruler, which is bringing in some change, some great change, innovative change, you know, and uh, I would say, what word am I looking for? Adjusting, reshaping, right? Re-engineering, re <laughs> reimagining your place in the world. Oh, this is chunky. Funky and chunky, man. Okay, one more time. I don't know what y'all want to do, so that's cool. stuff down. All right, Aquarius work. You didn't get any cause that fell out like this. Okay, King of Pentacles. So you're dealing with energy that squares you. This is Taurus. You could be dealing with Taurus or this could just be you. You know, you're putting the infantile, you know, the disruptive behavior behind you and you're more mature right now. You're like, you know what? I know what I need in my life and, and I know better for me than anybody else does. You know what I mean? My experience has led me to do this. You know, I know what I like and I know what I want, right? This is also somebody that is very, very capable of doing what it is that they need to do, taking care of themselves. This is very much like about your self-reliance too. And it's it's connected to like uh, property. It's connected to property and like uh, money finances and like uh, uh, real estate. You know what I mean? Definitely. Um, so we're trying to get to the bag. But we're also trying to build something. You know, we're trying to build foundations for our future, right? That's what the King of Pentacles is talking about to me. And then the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this has the energy of, of exaltation. This is nice. This is nice. This is kind of like a power couple here that I see. Or this is, you know, if you, if you are in a relationship with somebody, because you have the Queen of Cups here, which is ruled by the moon, because that's Cancer, right? And then here in... Um, you know, the King of Pentacles is Taurus and the moon is exalted there, right? I don't, I, I, the Venus likes to be in Cancer, you know, that's a, that's a nice energy for her. So Taurus being ruled by Venus and then this Cancer being here, that, that works. Um, so if you're questioning whether a relationship is going to work or not, then yes, I feel like the King of Pentacles is definitely someone that can provide the Queen of Pentacles with whatever it is that she needs. She just all, she might just have to um uh you know uh create that i don't know the magic or the uh, the magical escape that you do sometimes you know like doing things that are fun right um because the queen of cups being with the king of pentacles kind of like wants to uh, not please in that kind of way, but wants to make sure that everything is taken care of. But then the Queen of Cups has needs that needs that she needs met that the King of Pentacles may not be able to provide. You know, which is why the Moon is is exalted in Taurus, because the Moon in Taurus is like it's giving Taurus like that that creative uh, glow, right? So uh, I feel like. I don't know. This is fertility. I feel like somebody is thinking about children and someone is like not. You know, someone might be dating someone who is older, right? And this person who is dating this person who is older is like one part. The younger person is thinking about children, but the younger person is not. And it's weird because you would think that the roles would be like flipped in some kind of way. Because Taurus is actually younger than cancer but the queen of cups comes before the king of pentacles on the tarot 
Uh, so for me, the Queen of Pentacles is younger because it's also related to the Three of Cups and the King of Pentacles is related to the, um, the, the Sun in Capricorn, which is like the Four of Pentacles. So we're dealing with like someone who is flexible and someone who isn't flexible. You know, someone who challenges change and someone who goes with the flow of change, you know? So we have a little bit of like some opposing energy here, definitely. <laughs> okay, Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy and it also has to do with the sun being in Virgo. So this is like, no, focus on what works. Focus on the strengths of what makes everything kind of like last, you know? So this, the Eight of Pentacles tells me that this relationship, if you're questioning it or anything like that, it's going to last, right? So something is made to last, right? I'm going to show you all of these cards and how they're up here. Right? So this person needs something creatively, you know, spiritually, emotionally, whatever that is, this void needs to be kind of like taken care of. And this person can provide all of these other strong things, you know, details in life that makes life easier to live, right? But this person needs to experience like, I don't know, learning how to play the guitar or like doing some shit like that. You know what I mean? Because it, 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 it enhances their life in some kind of way where the King of Pentacles is actually more practical. The Queen of Pentacles wants to get up and try new things, right? So the Queen of Pentacles is always ready to get up and try some new things, right? That's why Jupiter is exalted there. But then like the King of Pentacles, he ain't really trying to do all that. You know, he's just focused on work. So this means that you just have to find the creative force inside of you, King, Queen of Cups, if that's you, uh, even though whoever that is in this scenario, because if this is, um, yeah. So the Queen of Cups just has to find that creative outlet, whether it be, you know, <laughs> crafting, you know, whatever it is. The Queen of Cups can do it on her own. That's why it's a cancer, it's a, a cardinal sign. So you can take on that responsibility of providing yourself with something that you know that you need that the King of Pentacles can't. Or King of Pentacles let this person um, do what they need to do. And also even suggest it because the Eight of Pentacles is, is encouraging something, something positive to go ahead and do something because it makes you feel good and you feel like it's like aligned with your purpose. You know what I mean? So it's encouraging to, to continue to do that, whatever that is. We've got the Ace of Cups here, which is related to this Queen of Cups energy, right? Bam. So she likes that. And then we have the Page of Cups here on the other side. You know, so it talks about, um, it's like the page, the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. So someone is like wanting to reach out to someone or someone wants to nurture someone. Someone may want like a child or a pet. Some of you guys are married to this King of Pentacles or some of you King of Pentacles are married to this um, Queen of Cups. And you guys are thinking about having children, especially with the Princess of Cups being there and then the Ace of Cups being there. That definitely speaks of fertility and strength card speaks of transformation and it's an eight and it rules the eight. So you've got the eight of pentacles on the other side. It's encouraging you to keep working, keep striving for what it is that you're passionate about doing and also like having, right? It's like, put your mind to it, right? Or like, um, you strengthen your mind through practice. Right? Practice makes perfect. And practice is like a ritual, right? Of sorts. Um, I don't know. Also, rite of passage, whatever that is, that's coming up, rite of passage. But this is also quality control. Trying to make sure that, like, um, every aspect of living is being taken care of in some way, shape, or form. You know what I mean? Um... And you're having to work a little bit harder, right? You know, a little bit harder. Or maybe there are some things that are like, you know, challenging about what it is that you're trying to build or what you're trying to make 
or what you're trying to achieve, um, making extra money, investing in something, taking out a loan, right? All of that. Ooh. Um, you know, this is also emotional awareness to change and the work that you've done on yourself and the value that you now, um, the value that you have for yourself and what it is that you do. Some of you are getting back to work and it's making you feel good. It's encouraging you. It's motivating you, you know? with the Eight of Pentacles being there. You know, you're motivated in the right ways with the strength card being here and for the right reasons, right? That's great. Princess of Cups is saying, you know, uh, just be ready for change and change is inevitable. And it's just kind of like seasons change and, 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 and things fade with time. So it's kind of like appreciating that so that you're constantly living in the moment, especially with the Eight of Cups here. That's living in the moment fully and really having an emotional appreciation for that, for being here, living in this moment, spiritually connected to this moment right now, here in time. And that's being connected to your body, your mind, and your spirit in this moment right now. I keep saying that. But that's a powerful thing to consider and then that pushes you to do more and to achieve the things that you want to. It gives you a sense of like, you know, limited time, right? Yeah. So then you start pushing through and making things happen. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the video. Follow me on Instagram. It's Providence Tarot there. My personal account is NYC Kendrick. And um, what else was I going to say? If you want to get a reading with me, you can DM me at any of those places or email Providence Tarot Kendrick at gmail.com.